So hello everybody, it is Monday, so it's time for another Power BI video and in today's video I'm going to show you seven tips that you wish you knew about Power BI. So how about we get started with the first tip. The first tip is about tab navigation with tabs. I don't know if you've seen this, but you know, when you have a lot of tabs here, you have to go here to be able to, you know, scroll through the tabs and that is painful, especially if you have long names on your tabs. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you hover over the arrows down there and you right click, look at that. There you have all the pages that you need, you see? And then you can navigate through them very, 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 very quickly. Did you know that? Hmm. Okay, tip number two. And tip number two is something that I discover, you know, by chance. I am a huge fan of hiding fields that the end users don't need to see. They, they don't even know need to know that they are there. They're just useful for calculations or for relationships. So what happens often is that I hide them every time, you know, I put it, pull them in and hide them because I say they are not going to use them, but then I need them just to check data quality or whatever it is. And then, you know, if you have to unhide more than one, it's such a pain. And then you have to hide them again because they won't be available for you to use. So here's the tip. You go to the table, any table, it doesn't matter. You right click and you see view hidden. And it will show you the hidden fields. So you don't have to unhidden them just to use them. You can just grab them from there and then drop them in and do whatever you need. Which makes life easier, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay, that's my tip number two. Let's go to tip number three. Tip number three, productivity tip two. Let's go into Power Query. Let me show you. If you go to edit queries, and here I have all the queries that I have for this uh, Power BI file. If you need to copy the M queries, you can just, you know, uh, select them all and then control C copy. And then you can go to any notepad editor, text editor and paste them and it will paste all of the codes at once. So you see here, here's the customers, here's the order details code, here's the orders code. I have another video where I show you how you can live connect to the M queries. I'll link down below, but if this is something that you just need to do for a very quick thing, just copy paste and you're good to go. Let's move to tip number four. Okay, tip number four is a very, very quick tip. If you are using Excel files stored in SharePoint and you want to schedule refresh them, you're going to see that sometimes it fails. Well, the reason why it fails is because Excel has to be the new Excel format, so XLSX. So if it is XLS, it won't work. You have to convert your Excel files to XLSX, okay? And then they will work. So let's go to the next tip, which is tip number five. So tip number five, how to avoid blanks. I put it on cards, how to avoid blanks altogether. Here's a very, very useful trick that was shared with me um, on the last uh, tips and tricks video I did from Catherine. Thank you, Catherine, you're awesome. So here's the thing, there are, you know, when you have, there we have the sum of sales, so this is a measure that calculates sales and there are on some days there are no sales in here. And as you can see, if you display this in a card, it shows us blank and that is not very user friendly. So if you want to fix this very, very quickly, the only thing you need to do is to make sure that it won't return blank. You just add plus zero and instead of getting blanks, you'll get zeros. How cool is that? I wish that it would probably I would do that by default, right? If it is a measure and you're supposed to return a number, then return a black, return a zero. But here is a quick way to actually fix that. Thank you, Catherine. Awesome. If you have tips, let me know. I'll definitely showcase them here. Okay, tip number, we're number six. 
Okay, so this is what happened. You download the new Power BI desktop, you're excited, and suddenly something breaks in your model. Oh no, I need to release this right now. How do I do? I need the, the old, the previous Power BI desktop. Where do I find it? I got you covered. If you need a previous Power BI desktop version, you go to this address. I will link them down below so you don't have to memorize them. So you go to here, previous monthly updates to Power BI desktop. You go to the month that you want your Power BI desktop from, and then you scroll down and here select the following links to download an early version of Power BI desktop. So you can just pick any month you like, download, go down here, and then you'll find all the Power BI desktop versions that the Power BI team has released, which is awesome. Okay, last tip, tip number seven. So when the Power BI team releases a new Power BI desktop update, Amanda from the Power BI team goes into the Power BI um, YouTube channel and actually showcases the new features. And she does a fantastic job and she always uses very, very beautiful design, the Power BI desktop files. And I know a lot of people would like to try what she does with the Power BI file that she has, right? You want to just test and see how this does work without having to reproduce the data. Well, here's the thing. If you go to Power BI desktop samples, you will get the link down below too. Here, Guy in the Cube, Adam Saxon, actually publishes, let me go back. So here you have all the files from 2018, and this is the, all the files from 2019. So here you can grab Amanda's file for download. So you can go here and it says, okay, this is the June version you go and download, you won't be able to visualize, at least not yet. You know that Microsoft bought GitHub, so hopefully in soon we will be able to embed Power BI. For now, the only thing you can do is download it. In this case, you probably want to download it and you'll get access to Amanda's file so you can play and do whatever she does on her awesome videos. So here we have the file that she shows. Come on, baby. And there it is. Okay, so you can play with them. So, did you know the tips and tricks that I shared? Did I surprise you with any? Do you have a tip for me? Okay, so let me know in the comment box and I'll see you again on Wednesday. Until then, take care. Bye.